Welcome to Odinbot's official copy trading tutorial. Let's get into it. Head on over to our website, odinbot.io. Then click the button to enter the app. The first step is to sign up and fund your account with Solana, if you don't already have an account. I already have an account, so I am going to go ahead and sign in. Okay, now we're ready to start copy trading. Head over to the taskbar and select Fund. This is where you access your wallet, Solana Balance, Estimated Portfolio Value in Dollars, Mirrored Wallets, Trade Speed, and Trade Size. To deposit funds, simply click on the copy address icon or scan your QR code. To withdraw funds, select whether to withdraw everything or input an amount in Sol, followed by a withdrawal address. Note, you cannot stop the withdrawal process once it has started, so make sure your withdrawal address is correct. Now let's select your trade size. For this, you have the option of setting your trade size, and then Odinbot will take whatever is in your trade size and copy it when your mirrored wallet makes a trade. So let's say you have 0.1 Solana as your trade size. Whenever the wallet you're mirroring takes a trade, Odinbot will automatically take 0.1 Sol and trade for you. It's recommended to keep your trade size low compared to the size of your account, ideally less than 10% of your account. But if you have a bigger account, it's recommended to use less than 2%. So if you have one Sol in your wallet, we recommend using 10%, which in this case is 0.1 Sol per trade. Note that trading with less than 0.1 Sol should be for testing purposes because priority fees will make profitability difficult with low trade sizes. Let's move on to your mirrored wallets. Let's say you did your research and found a profitable wallet to copy trade. Click on Add Wallet to Mirror, copy paste the address, and click on Start Mirroring. You've now successfully added a wallet for Odinbot to mirror. Now, anytime this wallet takes a trade, Odinbot will automatically take the amount selected in your trade size and copy trade it for you. You can also add notes to your mirrored wallets. For example, Let's say this wallet is owned by Ansem. Add a note to easily identify your wallets. And of course, you can add more than one wallet. To stop mirroring a wallet, click on the X icon next to the wallet and confirm your selection. You have now removed a wallet. Now, we can head over to the Controls tab. Odinbot gives you flexibility for your buys and sells, so you can change your strategy depending on your preferences. You have the options to sell 100%, sell proportionally, or to not copy any of their sells. We recommend selling proportionally if you want to sell the same percent of your tokens that the mirror sells on each sell. For buys, we recommend limiting your exposure to each wallet by setting a max buys per mirror per day. Depending on your strategy, you can set this however you like. For example, you could limit your buys to 3 max buys per mirror per hour and 6 max buys per mirror per day. Alternatively, you can set higher limits at 10 max buys per mirror per hour and 100 max buys per mirror per day. This depends entirely on your preferences. Either way, we recommend setting at least some kind of per day limit. Let's go over the rest of the tabs. If you head over to Trades, you can access the history of your mirrored trades. Holdings is your portfolio. It shows you the tokens you are holding, your Sol balance, and your portfolio value. You have the option of hiding your low value positions, saved wallets. The wallets we previously added are automatically saved here too. You also have the option to delete mirrored wallets. Odin's Alpha is a feature of our Discord server where we give you a list of Alpha wallets every day using our in-house wallet screener. Make sure to join our server to get access. The affiliate dashboard is where you'll find your referral link. By using your affiliate link, you will get 40% of every trade made by your referral. Pretty legend. And finally, settings. This is where you can export the private key associated with your Odinbot Solana wallet. 
you can export your private keys to your phantom wallet or whatever wallet you use. We hope this tutorial was helpful. Feel free to contact us on Discord or Telegram if you have any questions. Until then, happy hunting and may Odinbot swell your bags.